On my community tab, I asked a simple multiple choice questionnaire, if you will. It was a poll, two, two, two options, just two options. Do you want me to teach you this style? Much more clean, more cute, more kid-friendly, more fun, more, I wouldn't necessarily say beginner-friendly, but it's definitely got an interesting flair. It's timeless. You will see things made in this style forever. Or, or, would you like to see this? Would you like me to teach you this? Is this, is this what you want? Now, not all of you, but quite, quite a lot, a uh, mass, if you will, came and found me through seeing my work in this style, this. So, uh, it's only natural that you wanted me to teach you this, so I, I have listened. Oh my god, hi Gamma, so great to see you. Yes, good, wonderful, pleasantries aside. Take whatever you need to help you concentrate on this one key point right here in the beginning. If you want to turn the video off after this point, feel free. You know me, I'm not trying to sway your style one way or the other, but if you want to, if you came here to learn this, pay attention. This is the key. Forgive me for not posting in a while. I've been a little busy making some stuff for some people. You feel me? But, but let's calm it down a little bit, okay? Let's get a little relaxed. Let's chill out. This one simple premise, this one simple technique is what I do to make the rest of this stuff make sense. Look at this. Look at these. You see this? You see, you know what this is? These are sketches. Sketches. Sketch. I, I say that word and I mean it. Sketches. These take 20 minutes. 30 minutes. These are my warm-up sketches. I do warm-up sketches every day. Not because like I'm, I'm some weird workaholic, but because it gets your, it gets your flow moving. This is not the secret, by the way. <laughs> the secret is how I do them so fast. How, why these are only sketches. Look at this. Look, Mira. First, we start with a simple background. Any value, black and white. I pick a white background with black ink. Ink, digital ink, whatever. Black pixels, dark, dark. You either want to be drawing with a dark color on a light background or a light color on a dark background. We are not going to be sketching with lines. There's no lines needed here until near the end. Big brush, draw, erase, that's it. With this simple draw and erase motion, we are able to make interesting shapes. That's it. We can make things look shaded. We can have interesting value coordination between lights and darks and grays. And it, it might look like I'm drawing gray in here. I'm not. I'm just gently erasing until it, it reaches the, the gray that I want. If I turn the background layer off, look, it's just the dark layer above it. That's it. That's all it is. Look, if I draw a red below it, it's transparent. It's just, I just drew the one value. If I, if, I, if I need highlights, for example, because I don't have a pure white background, I got a gray background, I can just get white, put a layer beneath it, and then paint the white beneath the black. And now I've got highlights in the value that I like with the shading that I like. And these are texture brushes in case you're like, oh my God, well, that's really gritty. Yes, yes, These are. this is on Procreate at the moment. A lot of my stuff is in Procreate and then moves to Photoshop for this particular style. That is a preference of mine. That is something I've been doing for years now at this point. And it's just a, it's just a pathway forward that I really enjoy. I, I don't actually like completing the entire piece in Procreate. Procreate's not really strong enough for me with the comprehensive color and value range that I want to do. It, it doesn't have as much control as Photoshop or Clip Studio. So I start things often for this style in Procreate. And then I move them over to Photoshop. And I actually have an entire video about that right here. And if you need you know, a link to it, it'll be in the description down below. It's, it's coloring, or right? it's how I add color from a black and white. And I do that mostly in Photoshop. I don't really like to color in Procreate. With this in mind, let's talk about how I go about making this. I'm not trying, I'm not really trying to like pat myself on the back too much, you feel me? But like, this is, this is mildly impressive. Uh, this is years of practice all coalescing into one image. Take, take that with, with the knowledge that I'm about to give you, what about to put, about to bestow upon you. If you want to make gritty, gnarly, grotesque things like this, I mean, I mean, you don't really have to. This style of, of creation, this, this brushwork doesn't have to be horror. That's just, you know, I listen to heavy metal music, you know, listen to people screaming. If there's not a bleak in at least one part of the song, I'm, I, maybe I'm not, maybe I don't like it. So a lot of my, my, a lot of my stuff that I do in this style is gritty. It's nasty. Uh, a lot of people seem to enjoy it. So if you're one of those people, congratulations, a big preach, big preach. Thanks for stopping by. Let's get into this. So it starts with like the sword, a simple value on the background, and then the opposite value that I'm painting with. And 
that's the start. And that's honestly the majority. I will do almost the entire piece like this. I will rarely use other layers. That's almost only, it's almost exclusively one layer for the main thing. I'll eventually add layers later, but for now, it's just, it's just this. Draw on, erase off, and then we smudge. And this technique, uh, I, I go so in depth in this technique uh, on my charcoal and procreate video. So, you know, another, another link down below in the description. So the first one's coloring and the second one's charcoal and procreate now, you know, okay. So in that video, it goes over the brushes that I like to use, the smudging that I like to do. Now this piece though, you start with a form, a form, just a form, any form, chaos. Just looking at clouds. I say this in so many of my videos. I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record. So if you're new here, welcome. Look at clouds. <laughs> clouds and dust. Start with that. Start with clouds and dust. That's how I do so many of these pieces. In doing this, it lets your mind make a pattern. It helps you see something. You don't have to have an idea of exactly like the pose that you want to have. I could change things. Look, look, I changed this one while doing this. Like This is the perfect time to make changes like this. The whole point of this process is let your mind daydream. Let it figure things out on its own. Let chaos travel. Okay, let it do its thing. Let it, let, let, let it move you from A to B and it will treat you right. After you've gotten your nice big hefty brush, you're erasing to lighten it up and you're drawing to darken it down. And then you're smudging between them to make it a nice smooth transition. So like the arm is, you know, it's got that smooth from dark to light and back to dark, you know, cause it's got the curve to it. It's smooth. If, if this whole thing is going over your head, I apologize. I will be making more of these videos, hopefully going over more about all this stuff. So we make a form that we like from the chaos. I have an idea in my head of what I want. I'm thinking the client, this is actually for a client, by the way. Uh, the, <laughs> the client wanted a unique Eldritch Horror Dark Beast Ganon from Zelda. So I'm thinking like, okay. <laughs> You, you bet, buddy. You, you got it. That's, that's, that's what I do. So the Eldritch Dark Beast I've got in my head is, okay, it's pig-like. You know, Ganon's all about pigs. Got tusks and all this stuff. So, uh, so for make it like really, really scary, I open his jaw up. I, I, I got a thing for, uh, for opening for multiple jaws. Rows of, rows of teeth. It's, it's creepy. It's a little, it's a little unnerving. This whole thing is just a practice in values. Then all we got to do is bring it into Photoshop. I'm not going to show you the coloring process because I go, I break down that in the coloring video. I'm really trying to make these things as short as possible. I will go more into detail in future videos. Leave a comment. Inevitably, so many of you will be filled, filled with questions. Just leave the questions in the comments. Hope this was nice, useful, helpful, entertaining. Leave a like if you liked it, a dislike if you dislike it. Subscribe to see more. It's good to see y'all. It is. I'm sorry if this seemed rushed. I apologize. It was, you know, it was a quick piece. It was only a couple hours work fast. I, I work, I work really fast. I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care.